In 1963, we decided to look at ways of publicising Pirelli. And to actually do it extremely well with some of the world's best photographers. And it was that attention to detail which made the calendar so famous. Calendar is the most prestigious calendar in the world. One of the great photographic assignments. They're into making imagery and art and something collectible using the best people in the world. People seem to be very impressed when I say I'm doing Pirelli. This is like really joining a club, a very exclusive club. Good. What's cooler than doing the Pirelli calendar? I mean, it's one of my top things in life. We have total freedom to show whatever we want to show. The idea of images of women gives a lot of space. Every girl you pick say yes to the calendar. The girls we used and we have in the Pirelli calendar are the kind of goddesses of today. No, you're gonna look great. You're gonna look sexy. You're gonna look different than you've ever looked. I remember them having to call my mother to ask if I could be topless. Okay. Models always seem to generate some sense of internal drama. And I tell you, when you try and do it with somebody who's not a model, it doesn't happen. Every picture you make of an artist in the calendar she has something to tell about herself. I think Pirelli's always off the moment. Every calendar you see is always quality and something you haven't quite seen before. Part of what Pirelli is all about is original ideas. In 1973, we made a very calculated risk to do a calendar so suggestive and erotic. Prelly is best when it's sexy. That's nice. When it's done well, sexy becomes sensual. There's a razor's edge where you can take pictures of girls with the minimum of clothes on and they maintain their elegance and their beauty and their style. I think the superficiality of beauty shots isn't enough anymore. Take that picture! The last thing left in nature is the attractiveness and the beauty of women. Being a woman and asked to do the Pirelli calendar, there's a lot of pressure in a certain way to sort of not let women down and to look at women in a way that has a, a kind of integrity to it. An exchange that is much more about femininity than sexuality. There's an element of fashion and elegance and sensuality that's accredited to the models. They're so gorgeous, they're so beautiful. Just look into my lens and that's all we need. <laughs>